Okay, so welcome to this lesson on The Simpsons Wanted Rule. So, our previous lesson we talked about the trapezium rule and we did a whole lot of things, including deriving the formula. All right, and that's the same concept you are going to use here, except that here we are going to approximate the integral by a second order polynomial. So we wouldn't do much proof here, okay? We are going to use the understanding from what we discussed earlier. So the Simpson's one third rule is an extension of the trapezoidal rule, where the integral is approximated by a second order polynomial. So we approximate this integral here with the second order polynomial f2 of x. And the second order polynomial is given of this form a0 plus a1x plus a2s squared, right? Mm -hmm. So you know that we have three points here. Okay, so we need three points here in order to compute. Um, the single segment, right? Because it's a second order polynomial, so we need three points. You know, when it is a first order polynomial, we need just two points. But when it's a second order polynomial, we need two points. So you can see that. With the first order polynomial f of 1x was equal to a0 plus a1x. So we had a0 and a1, two points. Here, f2 of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2s squared. So we need a0, a1, a2, three points. And that will give us the single segment Simpson's one third rule. So that means that when we have our curve, okay, that's f of s, the one you can see here, we divide it into our two parts so that we have the three points. So we have a, a plus b over 2, and what? b. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the same seems one third rule for two segments. But we call it what the single segment because with the Simpsons one third rule, before you can compute it, you need two segments. That's the initial point. Like you need two segments. Okay. And this is because we are approximating by a second order polynomial. So we need what three points because two segments will give us three points. So here you can see we have the first segment here, the second segment here. And they are giving us three points, A, A plus B over 2, and B. And it's the difference between the Simpsons one-third rule and the trapezoidal rule. You see, with that one, we just need two points because we are approximate with the first order polynomial. Okay. So, the formula is given by integral from A to B, F of X dx is equal to H over 3. And... This h over 3 you can see is the same as 1 over 3 times h. If I decide to do this. Okay, so is this 1 over 3 here, which gives it that funny name called the Simpsons one third rule. Okay, so 1 over 3 h, then f of a plus 4 f of a plus b over 2 plus f of b. So you can see our three points f of a f of a plus b over 2 and f of b. So this is a formula for it. It's very simple. With h is equal to b minus e over 2. I hope you know the reason why it is over 2. Because our number of segments n is 2. Mm -hmm. So if you understood the trabezium rule very well, you realize that this is very simple because it's just an extension of what we did. So let's solve an example with it. 
You see the distance covered by a rocket in meters from t equals 8 seconds to t equals 30 seconds is given by what we can see here. It says we should use Simpson's one third rule to find the approximate value of x. Alright, so we are using the Simpson's one third rule to do this approximation. So you know the formula is given by this, right? Okay. So you see from the question, our b is 30 and our a is 8. That means we have to create a third point, which is a plus b over what 2. And that will give us so 8 plus b, so 8 plus 30. You know, addition is commutative, so 8 plus 30 over 2, or 30 plus 8 over 2, and that will give us 19, right? Mm -hmm. So, that means now our point A will be 8, and 19 will be A plus B over 2, and the 30 will be what? B. And our H is given by b minus a over 2. So you can see h is equal to 30 minus 8 over 2, which will be equal to 22 over 2, which will give us 11. So the formula requires that we find the functional value at what a, at f of a plus b, and at b. Then we substitute it into the main formula. So with our question, Integral from 8 to 30 f of t dt will be equal to 11 over 3 multiplying f of 8 because a is 8 then plus 4 f of 19 then plus f of 30. I hope you get it. Mm -hmm. So our integral, the function f of t from the question is giving us 2000 ln whatever you have here. So that means computing f of 8. We have to put 8 wherever you find t to so something like this. And computing this gives us 177.27. Computing f of 19, that means wherever you find t, we put 19 there. And that gives us 484.75. And computing f of 30, that means wherever you find t, we put 30 there. And that gives us 901.67. So we then come back and put them inside this formula. And I hope you know the reason why we have 11 over 3 here. Because we have what h over what 3. And h is 11. So 11 over 3. So putting, making substitution, we are going to have, you know, this was the question. It would be equal to 11 over 3. 177.27 plus 4. You know, it was 4f of a plus b over 2. So plus 4 times what? 484.75. Then plus 901.67. And making a substitution will give us this. The distance to be 11,065.78 meters. So that's how we use the Simpsons one third rule. Okay. So you know with the Simpsons one third rule, A B. And we create another point here. Let's say C. And this is just two segments. And for the Simpsons one third, this is what we call the single one. So we can have multiple ones. I mean the multiple ones. That is when we divide the interval AB into n equal parts, where n is even, and n starts from what's 4, then we have 6, 8, because when n is 2, we have the single one. Do we get it? So this sends us to what? The multiple segments for the Simpsons one third rule. This is just like in the multiple segments trapezoidal rule, one can subdivide the interval AB into n segments 
and apply symptoms wanted repeatedly over every two segments. Note that the n needs to be even. And note that if n is equal to 2, then we have the single segment symptoms wanted. We've done that. That's what we did, right? So we divide the interval a, b into n equal segments so that this segment width is given by h equals b minus a over n. So where n is even, so it starts from 4, 6, 8, 2, whatever. All right? So we use the formula below to compute the integral. So the integral from a to b f of s ds is equal to b minus a over 3n f of x naught plus 4 f of x i where in this case the i starts from 1 to n minus 1 and the i is what odd okay then we have plus 2 f of x i and here our i's are even so they start from 2 to n minus 2 then we have f of x n which is the last term okay so for instance when our n is equal to 4 that means we have b minus a over 3 times 4 then f of x naught plus 4 times f of what x1 plus f of what x3 because those are the odd terms then plus 2 f of what x2 then plus f of x4 so when we have n is equal to 4 this is how we expand this formula i hope you get it so you can do it when n is 6 n is 8 it's very simple so let's take this example to explain things. So it says use four segment Simpsons one third rule to approximate the distance covered by a rocket in meters from t equals eight seconds to t equals thirty seconds as given by so this is x. Alright. So you can see that the formula for the Simpsons one third rule is given by what we can find here okay all right so here we have four like our n is four we have four segments all right so you can see we have four segments so that means you know we have a to be eight we have b to be 30. And that means we have to divide this interval into four equal parts mm -hmm. so our h will just be given by b minus a over n and that is b minus a over n 30 minus eight over four 20 over four which is 5.5 .5. so we have to divide this into about 8 30 into four equal parts and when we do that this will be the first part the second the third and the fourth so at this point, we have 13.5, 19, 24.5, and 30. So this is our i. We just bring this here to make it simple for you. So we start at what? f of x naught. So this is when i is 0, when i is 1, when i is 2, when i is 3, when i is 4. So then we get our f of x naught, f of x1, f of x2 x3 x4 so this will tell you that f of x naught is equal to what f of what 8 since you have one here this will tell you f of x1 is equal to what f of 13.5 and so on so know that f of x naught to be equal to what f of what 8 so that means in our f of t because the whole of this are f of t so in our f of t, wherever we find t, we put 8 there, right? So we get f of x not to be equal to f of 8. You see here, there is t, we put 8 there. Here, there is t, we put 8 there. 
So computing this from your calculator will give you 177.27. Then when we go to the odd terms, f of x1 is equal to f of 13.5. You can see here. Another odd term is f of 3, which is f of 24.5. So when you compute that, that means whatever you find t, you put 13.5 there. It will give you 320.5. And computing f of 24.5 will give you 676.05. In the even terms, we have just one of it. That's f of x2, which corresponds to f of 19. And computing that gives us 484.75. Then the last term. This should be the last. So the last term will be f of x4, which is f of xn, which is of course f of 30. And that gives us 901.67. So after having these functional values, we come back into our formula. And you put it there. So we we'll have this integral will be equal to so we have b minus a over three n. So b is thirty minus a over three times n, which is four. Then this is f of x naught plus four f of x one f of x three. Then plus two f of what x two then plus f of what x4. So doing that computation will give you, when you compute the one inside the bracket, you get 6033.64. And um, then this here also give 11 over 6. So finally, this is going to give us 11,601.67 meters. Okay, so that is it with the Simpsons one third room. So, a recap for the single segment, we need what two segments like three points. So, our n is two here. Then, for it to be multiple, our n has to be four going, six going, eight going, ten going. Know that our n has to be even here. If our n is odd, you can't use the same same one said for it. Okay. Alright. So, thank you very much. If you didn't understand anything in this video, you can always go back and watch it. And as you watch it around time, the understanding will be clearer. So, thank you very much. In our next video, we'll go through the Simpsons 3 8 rule. Okay. So, see you in our next video.